How's it going everybody? This is Big John from Big John Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LG Stylo 2 Plus. Alright, we're going to do some specs on this for y'all. So what we got here is we got a 5.7 inch LCD IPS touchscreen, which is a 720 by 1280 resolution. Now this does have 258 PPI. It does have a 72.71% screen to body ratio so that's pretty good size screen there once again this is a 5.7 inch now this is coming with android 6.0 out of the box this does rock a fingerprint sensor which is right here and then also this is your volume rockers up and down here's your i your led flash 13 megapixel camera some lg branding Here's your speaker on the back. Now this is a removable back. You can take the back off. I'll show you right here. And then on the back here is where you got your SIM card and your SD card slot. Now once again, this is two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and it does take up to a 32 gigabyte SD card. Now let's take a look around the phone here. On the right side, we got nothing here on the right side. There is nothing here on the left side. On the top, you got your noise cancellation right here. Here's your stylo pin. This is a stylus. This is USB, micro USB charging your microphone and your 3.5 headphone jack. Now, as far as the camera, like I said a minute ago, this is a 13 megapixel camera on the back with LED autofocus. The software features for the camera on the back does include smile detection, face detection, voice activation, self timer, digital zoom, and geotagging. The camcorder is a 1280 by 720, which is a 720p HD 30 frames per second. Now, as far as the front camera, this is a 5 megapixel camera. It does have some picture taking during their video recording. Also, you can use it for video sharing and doing some video calls. So it, it's a pretty nice feature for this phone. Now, as we get into the hardware of this phone, this is rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon 430. This is an octa-core 1400 MHZ, which is millihertz, ARM Cortex. Dash A53 64 bit. Now, the graphics processor is Adreno 505. It does, like I said a minute ago, have 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and it does take up the micro SD card as I showed you in, previously in the, inside the, uh, the battery case area. Now, the battery is a 2900 milliamp battery. It talk time is uh, 20.12 hours. Standby time is like 19.2 days, according to what the specs say it should be. As far as everything else on this phone, you have your standard LTE bands, your uh, accelerometer compass, you know, all that good, the uh, M3 and the T4 hearing aid. Other features do include, uh, include voice dialing, voice commands, and voice recording. Once again, I just wanted to bring this quick update to this phone. This is a great phone. Let me turn it on for you. Now, this does have the knock feature. You can knock on and knock off. Once again, knock on, knock off. I just got it set to swipe to open. Now, there's the display, very nice display. Once again, I do love the Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher might not be for everybody, but I do like it. And as you can see, I like my uh, apps to be all uniform. So I'm running an app called Holy, that's H-O-L-E-E. -E. And as I talked about earlier, this does have a stylus. So let me get the stylo out for you. Sometimes you gotta have the fingernails to get it out. Sorry about that, y'all. Trying to hold this with my bad hand. There's my bad hand right there. 
But anyway, this does have the pop memo, the capture plus, the pop scanner, the quick memo, and of course you can tap and go into your settings also from the screen. This, the settings are very nice, nice. Let's go about to about phone. Now, this was originally purchased through Metro PCS. So what I did is I went and had the phone unlocked, and once I got it unlocked, I am now using it on my Cricut service. As you can see right here, Quick Cricut. And it is LTE for the mobile network type, and it is in service. So this is this is actually a great phone. I'm using it right now as my daily driver. I haven't really messed with it a whole lot, so I figured I better put it to use. It is serving my purposes, and it is actually pretty, pretty, pretty nice. So once again, I just wanted to come to y'all and talk to you about the LG Stylo 2 Plus. Um, with the leaks and rumors that we're hearing about for the LG Stylo 3 coming out, uh, I just wanted to shoot this out there for some people that are wondering if this might still be a good phone, and yes, it is. Also, uh, a good YouTube buddy friend of mine, Paul Tech, had just posted a video about this. He did a revisit on it. So, I'd like to do a shout out to Paul Tech, and I'm going to post a link to his video of this same phone in my uh, my video here. So, y'all get a chance to go check out Paul Tech's video on this phone. He does some great reviews, y'all. And one last time, once again, this is the fingerprint sensor. I haven't had a chance to set it up. I just like the knock-on, knock-off features. So, uh, I'm not going to keep you much longer. Once again, this is Big John from Big John Tech Reviews. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please do so at this time. Hit that like button, please. Hit that thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. Let's see if we can get 30 likes on this video today. Also, don't forget to leave some comments below. I always love reading comments, whether they're good comments or they're bad comments. I don't take it in personal anyway. I just like to see the comments and, and, and talk with everybody about these phones. So once again, Big John from Big John Tech Reviews, and we'll catch you on the flip side.